a look at the political punchlines that have had all of us laughing this election season, this long election season. There's been plenty to joke about during the campaign. So did comedy change how we think about the candidates? ABC's Chris Connolly gets serious about the jabs and the jokes. The tension of this election could wipe the smile off of anyone's face. Well, except his. But America's comedy elite, the 1% of political humor, has kept its campaign promise to keep laughing at everyone all the way to the end. I'll be a good soldier, I'll vote for Romney, but I'm gonna hate it. <laughs> this is not Mitch Romney's father's Republican Party. Pop Pop Biden has been drinking Robitussin again. And if you have a single working class female suburban undecided voter in your home, cover her with plywood. It can be a little sort of contentious on these late night shows with some, some of their jokes and be a little bit sharp edged, but for the most part, they are a breath of fresh air. Yet the late night skits and the sharp edged gags can also reinforce, even mold, public perception of a candidate's personality or performance. Governor Romney has just said that he killed Osama bin Laden. <laughs> Would you care to respond? Uh, no, you two, go ahead. <laughs> Take Jimmy Kimmel Live, offering an off-the-wall appeal Friday night from Chris Rock. In times like these, you need a white president you can trust. And that white president's name is Barack Obama. <laughs> An SNL sketch that didn't make air this weekend, but that now lives online, saw Jay Farrow serve up an Obama eager to please a swing state in the wake of Hurricane Sandy. I want to offer my heartfelt condolences and support to each and every person who was affected by this calamity, but most of all, to the people of Ohio. Also on SNL, Jason Sudeikis has been rocking his Mitt Romney impression in sketches all year long. Oh, poor people hate having jobs. We also need to take this time to reflect on the important moments in this election cycle. Now, what moments do you think are important to reflect on? The first of the three presidential debates. All right. All right, remember that? <laughs> for many, this election's been exhausting. But for those in the comedy business, it's been one glorious gold mine. This one has been like watching Donald Trump losing a hockey fight. I know it has to end. I just don't want it to. <laughs> For Good Morning America, Chris Connolly, ABC News, Los Angeles. There have been some great moments. Yeah. And George and Diane will, Diane Sawyer, will anchor our election coverage all night right through the final results. And we thank you for keeping us up to thank date. You. Are okay. you going to deliver punchlines tonight? I don't know. He got all the best ones in in he that sure piece. Did. It was really good. Yeah.